guys, it's your girl, beside your me, Amoni Entertainment TV. This is Sunny Afternoon today, and we're presently at Tammy's house. Yes, yeah, she heard me right. Tammy, the young girl who plays the star. So, whole like banana. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. No time to wait, guys. Come. Thank you so much for having me in your home. You're welcome. Okay, so can you introduce yourself? My name is Timila Abodrin. Timila Yo. Yes. Okay, do you have any nickname you go by? Well, maybe just Timmy. Timmy. So yes. you are called Timmy by by who? Maybe your just friends my or dad. Your dad. Yeah, my friends. Oh, your dad. Your yes. friends. Yes. Okay. So, uh, Timmy, what state do you hail from? I'm from Kwara State. From Kwara State. So yes. you speak what language? Yoruba. Yoruba. Yes. So from a scale of 1 to 10, how well do you speak Yoruba? I'd say 6. 6, six 7. Yeah. 6, 7. Okay. Um, what grade are you in? I'm in GS1. Year 7. Yes. Sorry? Yes. Year 7. Year 7. Year 7. Yes, 1. Yes. Okay. Um, how old are you? I'm 11 years old. You're 11? Yes. This year? Last year and this year I'll be 2012. Okay, so you'll be 12 this year. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, when did you start your musical career? I started my music career, like I started with the keyboard okay. when I was age four. Four years old? Yes. Wow, okay. And I saw the saxophone when I was six and then I told my parents that, wow, I like this instrument and I wanted to play it. Okay. So, after a while they got me one and okay. I started playing. They also gave me, got me a teacher started teaching oh, okay okay yes. so since then and now that i'm 11 i've been learning the saxophone wow so that's over five years now five years yes, yes. but um when you were learning okay i mean the tran you know transition from me you know playing the keyboard and moving to um you know this the saxophone. yeah were you you know scared or you know like changing yes not really because i think maybe because i was young Okay, yes. okay, okay. Um, what are your hobbies? Well, I like swimming. You love swimming. How well do you swim? Well, I can swim. I can just swim. <laughs> you can just I swim. Really swim much. Okay, okay. Like so, you talked about being in GSS1 yes. and you know, juggling school and um, your musical career. How has it been for you? How has the journey been well, for you so far? Me and my parents made a timetable. Okay. Which I follow so from Monday to Friday, okay. I focus on my school, my okay. assignments, okay. and maybe in the evening okay. I practice because I have I do my classes on Wednesday and Saturday. Okay, okay. So in the evening is when I do my Wednesday class, and then Saturday and Sunday at times those are the days when I get invitations to come and perform vacation. Okay, so that's when I focus more on the Saturday and then maybe read before I go to sleep. Okay, so would you see yourself as more of a book person or a music person? That is, if you are more of a book person or a music person, in the sense that if you have to choose between music and book, which would you pick? If you had a choice, okay, between music and your school, which would you pick? Like which I want to go to. Yeah. Um, First choice. Music. Music. Okay. Well, I'd also choose school because that's just like what's going to help me. So. Yeah. Maybe I choose the two. <laughs> you choose the two. Yes, okay. I read music and Okay. Uh what time do you wake up in the morning? Well, if I want to go to school, okay. From Monday to Friday I wake up around six AM. Six AM, okay. Yes. And then on weekends? On weekends I just wake up maybe any time, nine, ten. Okay. So you get to enjoy your weekend. Yes. Okay. So um do you have any chores you do, you know? Well at times I wash the plates, um I sweep the floor, I arrange okay. House, okay. Do you have a favorite chore? No, no, no one does actually. No one has a favorite. I don't say so. Say me, um, aside playing the sax, what else do you enjoy doing? Well, I like playing my phone and with my brothers. Okay, how many yes. brothers do you have? I have two, two brothers. Yes. Okay, beautiful. Yes. Um, what's your favorite meal? My favorite meal, 
well, beans and anything made out of beans like more more than akara. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's so. What do you eat with your akara? Maybe either bread or curry at times. Which is your favorite? From what? Like between bread and curry. Um, curry. Cause I don't like eating bread raw. Okay. Just so someone in my mouth. Okay, so curry is perfect for akara. Yes. Okay. That is guys, Gary is perfect for her. Yeah. Have you, ever been, have you attended shows before? Have you been out yes, for events? I've attended lots of shows, lots okay. of demonstrations. Which is your most memorable? Well, it's the Jenny Drew's concert. When was that? Um, yeah, we did two which I went to. Okay. One in 2018 and 2019. Okay. And I went for both. Okay. Well, both were interesting, but I feel um, 2018 was the most interesting. Okay. Because um the people who were there some knew me and some didn't but they just loved what i was playing okay the sound and everything was okay and beautiful and i met don jazzy wow yes, okay and okay. that was awesome okay so yes. did you converse with don jazzy or yes. just say hello 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 yes kind of conversation yes. okay interesting um tell me what's your um I, would you see yourself as an introvert or extrovert? Well, I prefer going out than stay at home. So you love going out? Yes. Then, I like staying at home. Going out a lot. Okay. Yes. Um, how do you feel when you're on stage? Well, I, I, feel, your head, well you know? I feel bored and if it's a band thing, like a band performance, then I also think of the rehearsals that we did, like okay. what's next, okay. like the lines that I'm playing. Okay, yes. okay, so not to be distracted. Has there ever been a time where you had um, stage fright on stage? And you, you, like, you saw everyone, you were like, oh my god, I don't know what to say, I don't know what to do, what should I do, what should I do, where's my mommy? You know? <laughs> no, not really. Ever? No, because I feel maybe because I started when I was young. Okay, yes. so you've over time gotten used to yes. the crowd and people and yes. everything else. That's interesting. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, who would you regard as your favorite artist of all time? Or oh, Candy Dolpha because when she's a woman and she also started when she was six years old. Okay. And I started when I was six. Is she a Nigerian? No, she's a Dutch jazz saxophonist. Okay. Dutch jazz saxophonist. Yes. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So tell me, are there any other artists you record? Well, I want to collaborate with Candy Dolpha. Okay. Ariana, and maybe in Nigeria, sing, Jenny Drew, talk about so finally, finally, before we let you go, I love for you to do a freestyle. Okay, anything, anything of your choice. What's that? Okay, I love to play my song titled "Iron." Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Thank you. That is awesome. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was amazing. Thank you. Like amazing. Thank you so much. Beautiful. I'm so glad to be here. I'm I'm so glad. I'm I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad to be here. Um so tell me what was the inspiration behind the song are you? What part about the song? Okay, so I met Mr. Bakuli on Instagram and Okay. One day he now came to my house for a visit and he took us to Sarati Miki's studio and then we decided to start something. So that's when he came up with the idea. Like he came up with some lines and then I played it and he recorded it. Then that's where everything started. He made the beats. I played the sa- I made the sax line and that's how we started the song. Okay, wonderful. And we did the song just to bring out joy from people. Because that was when it was COVID nineteen coronavirus period. Okay, 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 okay. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. Uh, by the way, I love your confidence. Thank you. For someone so young, you're making me confident. Thank you. Um, between me and you, are you more of a daddy's girl or a mommy's girl? You are. Mm. Team, team who? Mommy or daddy? Mommy, daddy. Both. Both. Yeah, team both. They work together to push me and my brothers. Okay, so why are you closer to your mom or your dad? Oh boy. I have a feeling you're closer to your dad though. But okay. Well, let's say my dad helps me. I'm closer to Spend my mom time with your dad. And okay. I'm closer to my mom and just family stuff. So, would you spend more time with? Both of them. Both of them. Okay, okay, okay. That's it, guys. Thank you oh, so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you, me. You're welcome. Good day, sir. Hello, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank Hello, you, sir. Yeah. So, please, can you introduce yourself to us? All right, my name is um, Olaide Abodurin. Okay. And I'm Tim Lyle's dad. Tim Lyle's dad. Exactly. Okay, what state do you hail from, sir? Pardon? What state do you hail from? From Kwara State. From Kwara State. Exactly. And how long has your daughter been, you know, studying music? How long has she been? Well, since from, I introduced music to her from the age of what, about two years old. Okay, yeah. so you introduced music to her. Yes, exactly. So personally, you have a thing for music. Yeah, I love I love music a lot. Okay. The mom also loved music a lot. Okay. So it makes it easy, you know, okay. to just talk about, okay, introduce the music to them. Now, what challenges have you faced in respect to shuffling, you know, your job, your daughter, your sons, your wife, music, now getting them into it? Well, um, there's a whole lot of challenges, you know, that you definitely face. Definitely. One, balancing your own personal life, okay. my work, our own uh, music activities. As she's growing, it's yeah. more engaging. Okay. She has two younger ones, you know, one is into coding, the other one plays drums. You know, I had to go to work, I had to take care of their bills and all of that. Family of talent. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, and um, it's quite challenging, balancing your time. Yeah. And then finance finances as well you know it's a whole lot of challenges but because when you say that you're investing into your children and you see that it's coming out beautiful yeah. you know when those challenges comes you know that it's for good yeah you yeah. understand so, so that for me it's motivating the factor okay. to keep pushing them and and ensuring that they enjoy what okay. we are introducing to them okay. and um, we see that they have their we'll be able, we're always able to recognize their strength and their weakness so okay. we're able to also support them in both sides okay okay thank you uh from a scale of one to ten right. how involved in music are you okay how do you reach yourself yeah yeah actually while growing up i used to be in the choir okay. i used to play the bass guitar uh, i tried the keyboard okay. you know at some point in time as a young child but i didn't get the kind of support that my children are getting yes, from us today yes. you know our parents believe only in go to school go education to school. Yes, and that yes, was it yes. any other thing you want to do man the guy that's you know rubbish, yeah, you understand what i mean you know like that but so but now we're realizing that experience i want to ensure that all those things that we miss as children we ensure that we're able to give it to our children so they don't miss it when they grow up they know that they have all the opportunities okay. that is at least that is available or that we can make available to them and they are actually utilizing it. Oh, wow, wow. Yeah. Uh, so, sir, what genre of music do you listen to? What are your type of 
music to rock, you know, afro or hip hop, you know, kind of. Yeah, okay. I listen to kind of music. Okay. Provided that it has good uh, production, okay. good sound, and mm -hmm. I listen to all genres of songs and music around the world, you know, even outside our culture. Okay. You know, I, I listen to a lot of Afro beats, but I do more of listen to other cultures from all African countries to any part of the world. Whether the sound is good. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. I have fun with your audience. I hope you did too, because I surely did. Don't forget to subscribe to Amoni NTV, like, comment, and turn on your notification buttons for juicy, juicy, juicy gist. See you, girl. Usayomi. Remember, guys, black is beautiful.